Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Studio. And today a quick video to share with you that new free glass effect that was added to our free starter pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Once you've done so, you'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to replace it with. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can copy and paste them into your font folder, either on your Mac or on your Windows computer. But if you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, there is no need to reinstall the font. Just install the TRFX file and that will be good. So once that's done, you can just double click here on the TRFX file. It will prompt open this window. If you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, it will ask you to overwrite. And if that's the first time, it will ask you to install. So just click either one of those. And now let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve. Once you're in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Effect, and then here Video Studio Free Starter Pack, and you will find the glass effect. We cannot drag the effect directly here in the timeline because we need to drop the effect on a clip or on an adjustment clip. So right now, let's just drag some footage into our timeline. And now we can just drag the glass effect directly. Another alternative could be here to just bring an adjustment clip instead and bring the glass effect onto that adjustment clip for the same result. Now let's jump into what is possible to do with that effect. So here, let's just select adjustment clip, go over to effect. And here, first off, you can see, we can choose between text, rectangle and icon. So let's start with text. Here, as you can see, there is a text display and we can adjust the control of that text. So we can replace it with whatever we want right here and we'll have a text glass effect. You can also change the font. You can adjust the color. You can adjust the size, the tracking, the opacity, so on and so forth. Now, the second one right here is rectangle. So you have basically a simple rectangle that you can then adjust right here in a rectangle control where you can same adjust here the opacity of the rectangle. You can adjust the soft edges of that rectangle. You can adjust the border width and we can also invert it. So for example, here, if we click invert, as you can see, now we have a frame instead of a rectangle. You can adjust the overall position. So maybe to put the focus on a certain part of your footage, you can adjust the width, you can adjust the height, the corner radius. So we can transform that into a circle very easily by reducing here the width, for example. And now we have a circle instead of a rectangle. And here you can adjust the angle. At any moment, if you wish to reset some parameter, you can just double click on the parameter that you wish to reset and it will reset it to the default value that was initially set at. And then the last one, icon right here is just showing up a glass icon by default it's a hurt but you can just change that to any icon you'd like with a loader so here in icon control you can just come to here browse whatever icon you like so right now we're gonna use a camera for example and we're gonna replace uh, the hurt with a camera we can adjust the position of that icon we can also adjust the overall size and we can adjust the opacity. Now, one last thing to adjust the overall reflection and transparency of the effect, you can adjust here the strength. So if you increase that, basically the Gaussian blur of the glass is gonna be increased as well to the point where you cannot really distinguish what is behind it. If you reduce that, as you can see, we're just gonna get closer to something very transparent. And here uh, we can have something that is very clear and very see-through. So you can play around with that depending on the effect that you would like. And also right here in the glow control, you can play around with the threshold, the gain and the glow size and the blend to basically play around with the refraction of the light here in the glass and the intensity of it. So for example, here, if we increase the gain, as you can see, the glass is becoming a bit brighter. We can adjust also the glow. It will just make the light in it a bit more diffuse. So you can just play around with that to create really the glass effect that you like. There is so many ways to use that effect by default. This doesn't have an animation in and out. So if you want to have a simple animation in and out, you can simply here drag those fade in slider. And basically here you will have a fade in animation for the in and a fade out animation for the out. There is so many cool things you can do with that. Uh, for example, here, if I wanted to, to blur the subject face, you could do that by going over here to rectangle 
then we could simply go over to rectangle control, adjust the position to put that over the face of the person. We're gonna reduce here the width and we're gonna reduce the height. We're gonna increase the corner radius to make it a circle instead readjust the position a little bit and then here we're going to increase the soft edge and as you can see we've very easily just blurred the face of the subject and if we want to drag that we can simply just use keyframe by here just placing some keyframe on the position and we can just continue to move forward right now there is not too much movement so it's not really needed but then basically whenever there is a movement happening you can move around the blur so it's keep covering the face of the subject and it will automatically just drop a keyframe on it so you can just continue to keep that blur on the face of the person and that's pretty much it how this effect is going to be useful to you let me know in the comment what kind of effect or title you would like us to make next and see you in the next one bye Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.